my sex Look at me dance I'm so happy I'm Doing a new drum dance Nikki is brought to you in part by Mouth is alive or run inside and I'm hungry like the wolf <laughs> Burn the ground I break from the crowd I'm on the hunt I'm after you I smell like a sound I'm lost all done. You're all done. Thank you so much, dear. Why don't you go sit down? Somebody threw me the room key. Isn't that sweet? It was probably the closest thing they had to a dart. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it for Mrs. Esther Nybaum. Oh. Esther, you've made us all thirsty like the wolf for the refreshing taste of the Golden Calf 32-ounce Super Scotch. 10% off with proof of substantial casino losses. Just our way of saying, get back out there. We'll be back with more karaoke in a few minutes. If you want your moment in the spotlight, be sure to sign up. But first, as seen on AM Las Vegas, let's have a warm welcome for the incredible Stan. Uh, good job, ladies. Good job? Yes. Good what show were you watching? Mary, karaoke redefines the performer audience relationship. Look at Mrs. Nybaum. She's alive. Technically. <laughs> so, Nick, you want to head to the Riviera tonight? They just hired three new boy dancers, and rumor is one of them is straight. Oh, is straight male dancer. Yes, and he lives in the clouds with the tooth fairy. Who, by the way, is also straight. Fine. I'll go alone. Why are you so interested in this guy anyway? Aren't you dating Jupiter? Hey, I may be in an exclusive relationship, but I am not dead. <laughs> I can't go with you anyway. Dwight and I have to meet Marion's new boyfriend tonight. Your mother-in-law has a new boyfriend? Mm. There's a guy who lost a bet. <laughs> Apparently, he works here in the hotel. Do you know a uh, Glenn Egan? Glenn Egan. Hmm. I know I see that name every week and it makes me very angry. Hello, he signs our paychecks. <laughs> oh. So that's why Marion is so anxious for Dwight to meet him. She wants him to see one of those financial bigwigs and question ditching business school for wrestling. It's all part of her diabolical plan to crush his spirit and thereby defeat me. It must be so cool to have an arch enemy. You'd be like a superhero if you didn't drive such a crappy car. <laughs> Look, how do we know my mom is doing this to try and change my mind? I mean, is it so inconceivable that she's dating a man for the companionship or their shared interests or the sex? Okay, no dinner for me. <laughs> Your mother has got this all set up, Dwight. I bet this Glenn guy is going to offer you a job. Come on, she's never gone this far before. She's evolving. She's becoming a new and even more dangerous strain of mother-in-law. Why can't she just have a boyfriend? Boyfriend? She's not really interested in this guy. Once he has served his purpose, she will eat his brains and lay eggs in his skull. <laughs> okay, here they come. Be strong. Don't worry. Oh, my God, I want to be him. <laughs> Hi, kids. Glenn, I'd like you to meet my baby boy, Dwight. And my daughter-in-law, Nikki. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Your mom talks about you guys all the time. <laughs> really? Because we're always talking about her. <laughs> How was wrestling practice? Oh, it was great. I dropped the guy so hard he puked a little. <laughs> no, I fired a guy last week. He puked a little, too. <laughs> you know, Dwight, I was telling Glenn that you've always had an interest in, in accounting. Yes, but he's a wrestler now. I was going to say basketball. Oh. Well, you may say that. Listen, uh, Dwight, I'd like to make you an offer. Aha! They do have cop salad here. Ah, you're saying, Glad. Be busy Saturday night, because I've got tickets to the UNLV basketball game. They're company seats. For the company man. Courtside. We have a winner. You're on! <laughs> Terrific. Boy, I'm really looking forward to that game. Perfect timing. It only rings when I'm having fun, never during root canal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. 
Uh, this is going to take a few minutes. Oh. So, listen, uh, please order whatever you want. It's on me. That snap, better than money. If he'd snapped twice, you'd be dead. <laughs> so, kids, what do you think? Is he the greatest thing you've ever seen or what? Well, sure, you seem pretty nice, but I never know quite what to make of those corporate types. What do you think, Dwight? It's not important what we think. The important thing is that Mom's happy. And... Oh, dear Lord, it's rib night. <laughs> Come on, honey, snap with me. Nikki, come on, come out with me. I'm offering you adventure here, the search for a straight male dancer. <laughs> you know, if we're the ones who discover him, we can have him named after us. <laughs> Can't. Dwight's coming home from the game any minute, so just go, ask him if he's gay or straight, and remember, if he says gay, it's an answer, not a challenge. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot just ask him if he's gay. Where's the sport in that? No, I'm going to spill some ice cream on my pants. He'll either take some club soda and dab at it, or he'll dive right in and lap it up like a dog. <laughs> hey. hey. Hey, Dwight. Oh, Glenn Egan, this is Mary Campbell. Mary Campbell. Mary Campbell, yes, you're the one who endorses your check, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a signature, it's a stamp. <laughs> Honey, you would not believe the seats Glenn's got. It's right behind the bench. So close, I could touch the players. Well, what happened to your shirt? I touched the players. <laughs> they threw Gatorade on them. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really sticky, so I better take this out before it forms a delicious, chewy crust. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, Glenn, that's his good sweatshirt. I don't want him sucking on it. <laughs> sure. you know, make yourself comfortable. Help yourself to a beer in the fridge. There, you're comped. <laughs> <laughs> So what happened? Oh, we had a great time. You know, he's smart, he's funny, he's interesting. I'd go out with him again. <laughs> Did he try to brainwash you? We didn't talk that much. I just signed some contracts and I start on Monday. <laughs> Honey, I, we talked about you all night, okay? You know, he told me what a lucky guy I was to be doing what I always wanted and to have a wife who believes in me. Mm, you men, you gotta waste a perfectly good sports event gabbing about your feelings. Mm. <laughs> And you know what else? Tell me. In the front row, you don't have to go to the concession stand. They come to you. So, go out there and be nice. I want Glenn to be my new daddy. Wow. You and Dwight must have had a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I've seen him that sticky. <laughs> Listen, you guys can kick me out whenever you want. Oh, please, no. You run the hotel. Our house is your house. Our... Towels are your towels. Literally. <laughs> well, I sure had a great time with Dwight tonight. You know, it is so rare that I get a couple of hours just to do what I want to do. I had to open my big mouth, didn't I? <laughs> Aren't you going to answer it? I hate this damn phone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> back together <laughs> you know Glenn I, I think I had you all wrong I thought you were sent here on a mission for Marion to get Dwight to stop wrestling then do what what you do <laughs> that's crazy he loves wrestling why would he want to be a financial guy hell I'm a financial guy and I want to hang myself <laughs> <laughs> really even with the, the, the court side and the snapping oh you know to tell you the truth these days the only thing I think about is mountain climbing Mountain climbing, you? I, I know, it's crazy, but it's what I've always wanted to do. Oh, well, why aren't you? You've got a lot saved up, right? Why aren't you an Everest right now? The wind in your hair, sawing off your frost-bitten toes, and eating them to stay alive. God, I wish. <laughs> That's your dream, right? Yeah. Man, I hate to wake up one day and realize I wasted the best years of my life just pushing around a bunch of meaningless papers. She says, to the man who signs her paychecks. <laughs> you know, you're right. I gotta do it. Absolutely. Oh, hell, I'm gonna do Way it. Way to go. And I'm leaving tonight. Tonight? Yep. No, you can't mean this tonight. Oh, it's the only way it's gonna happen. No, what about Marion? She's a wonderful woman. She'll be very upset if you go, and she might punish those who stay behind. <laughs> if I stay here, I won't be happy, and eventually, neither will she. I think she'll understand. 
You do. Yeah, once you explain it to her, because you got a really good handle on this whole dream no, thing. No, no. <laughs> Tell Dwight goodbye for No, me. no, stay. Tell him yourself. We'll be right. Dwight, he'll be right out. And if the <laughs> get completely dry, mildew's a big problem. I'm sorry, if I don't go now, I may never go. Thanks, Nikki. You saved my life. I needed you. What happened? Where's Glenn? He's gone. Went home? If home is Nepal. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what did you do to my new daddy? Oh, oh no, we had it made. I mean, my mom was happy with this guy. She was being nice, and, and I had court side seats. Do you know where they are now? Glacier side. <laughs> Mother Dwight, she's been out all night. Did you have to give him the dream speech? I mean, you have so many other speeches. Why not the take your vitamin speech or the chili fries do not count as a vegetable speech? <laughs> well, let's not give up hope. You know, maybe he got to the airport and he tried to buy his ticket and they talked him out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's what the airlines do. They talk customers out of buying last minute full fare tickets. Yeah, let's count on that. <laughs> there, that's probably a very helpful Air Hill Malaya rep right now with a new and more sensible Glenn. <laughs> that's my mother. I don't want to see her. You've been calling her all night. Because I don't want to see her. Honey, I'm opening the door now. Oh, crud. Hi, Mom. You left 15 messages on my voicemail. What's up? Where were you all night? Playing poker. We paid you at the casino. Uh, Glenn got me into a private game in the Emir suite. He has six wives. I now own one. <laughs> so, what's the emergency? Marion, have you gotten a call from Glenn... That didn't start with, guess where I am now? No. Where is he? Well, he's probably sleeping in. That's what you do when you quit your job and you're oxygen deprived because you're on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Marion, what Glenn did took a lot of courage. He's following his dream. He's becoming a mountain climber. And we have to respect that. Honey, I think you broke my mom. Did you have anything to do with this? Oh, maybe. A little. First my son, now my boyfriend. Who's next? I mean, perhaps you'll convince my dentist to join the circus. Or uh, maybe my hairdresser will be shot into space. I didn't mean for him to take the first plane out. We were just talking. Don't talk to anyone I know ever again. <laughs> Marion, haven't you ever had a dream? Yes. We've all had dreams. I wanted to be Barbara Streisand from the earlier funny girl days before she started telling me how to vote. <laughs> but I dropped that dream because it was a stupid dream and I got myself a new dream. Well, what's your new dream? Let's talk about it. Okay. My dream is that my son goes to college and makes something of himself. Can you fit that one on your loom, dream weaver? <laughs> Dwight, you're very quiet. Please say something. I agree. With who? My dream is to not have to tell you. <laughs> so, Marion blames me, and Dwight blames me. Did I really do something so wrong? Okay, Marion had a new boyfriend whom your husband was crazy about, and this boyfriend was keeping her busy and off your back, and you sent the guy to Dalai Lamaville. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say you did the right thing. Okay, fine. If you're not gonna lie to me, maybe feel better. I guess I'm just gonna have to fix this. Ah, oh, Mary. My precious flower. Jupiter, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be coaching the wrestlers on how to twist your best friend's scrotum without redefining your relationship? Yeah, no, I had other pressing business. So, Mary, I, uh, I wandered past your house last night and I... Well, I happened to look in a window or two. You were at home. No, I even checked the punishment room. Is that a punishment room? We don't even have a breakfast nook. As it happens, I was out last night. Yes, out with another guy at the Riviera Bar. How did you know that? I am the great and powerful Jupiter. And I recently purchased a pair of infrared goggles. Big deal. Last week you went to a strip club. It was my mother's birthday. 
Look, the guy I was with was gay. That doesn't matter. It really should. <laughs> you know, Mary, I am hurt. And not the kind of hurt where I say I don't like it, but I really do. <laughs> and because the only way for one person to know another person's pain is to walk a mile in their shoes. I am going to find a lesbian and date her. You're insane. You're brilliant. Thank you. I call it Operation Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Insane, but the, the walk a mile in the shoes part the way to get Marion to understand what Glenn is feeling is for her to live out her dream. I call it Operation Get Marion to Understand Glenn's Dream. That's not an operation name. You just took what you said and then put the word operation in front of it. You can't do that. <laughs> How long do I have to stay here? Just until Nick comes out, there's, there's something she thought you'd like to see. Is it a magic act? Does she get sawed in half? I'd like to see that. <laughs> hey, look, on three, two ounces of scotch, your favorite. Let's put our hands together for the incredible stand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Golden Path, where tomorrow's stars just might be here tonight, where it's your turn to shine, where? Sing like flame to dunk a shame Or shake your pelvis and rock like Elvis We're all waiting to see who you're gonna be How'd you get so lucky? It's a night for karaoke <laughs> Then who's it gonna be? Who's gonna live out her dream on our stage tonight? How about you, ma'am? No, no. No, I'm not going up there. Come on, Mary, no, don't be shy. No, I, I don't think I can't do this. I can't. No, really, I can't. I can't. I can't. Don't tell me not to live, just sitting. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Way to go, honey. She's living her dream. Maybe now she'll finally get it. Don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? Got a plan for getting her down? I'm gonna live and live now. Get what I want, I know how. One throw for the whole ship back. One throw, that bell will go clang. I am the target and bang. One shot, one gunshot, and... What's the last thing you remember? It was the biggest glass of scotch I've ever seen. <laughs> and nothing after that? Nothing at all? There was a bright light. Oh, that might have been when her hair caught on fire. <laughs> Marion, you were on stage. You were singing. You were living your dream. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Oh, this is supposed to help you understand about Glenn. <gasps> oh, my God. Glenn, I'm supposed to meet him for dinner. But, Mom, Glenn's not around anymore. What happened to him? Oh, I am not telling her again. It was horrible enough the first time. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Mom, Glenn's gone. He, uh, he went... To prison. He, he did? did? <laughs> yes. He was siphoning money from the casino, and they busted him. Dwight, is this true? I was surprised myself. <laughs> Oh, this is all too much. I'm really tired. I just want to go home to bed. Okay, Mom, we'll take you. I can't believe I misjudged Glenn like that. Hey, we all make mistakes. Maybe I should visit him in prison. No. Good-looking guy like that. He's probably already spoken for by now. <laughs> It's Feb on the Frog. They've shared almost everything. I am scared of that little piece of your heart that will always belong to Dawson. Now they'll share this. Dawson's Creek, a winter's night. Then, goodbye roommate, hello fiancé. I'm moving out. You're moving in. You sure you don't mind? Happy to go. Coaster! An all-new Jack and Jill. 
After an all-new Dawson's Creek on the WB Wednesday night.